YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. The rifle is at 2600 psi, maybe a tiny air under. We are using Crossman Hollow Point 14.3 grain to see what speed they can reach at this peak. If you followed my last crony video, which was out of the box, you know, I will shoot one to see if it is around the velocity that I think it is and then see what I can do to turn it down. So that's a tiny bit less than I thought, but it has a tiny bit more air than I wanted it to. So that's right around where it should be. I will not waste time and I will adjust this thing, I guess. Let's do that. So I already took a picture of that to know about where it was with the treads and stuff, but I don't really know how far in or out it is. I will know only how many turns I do myself, okay? So just so you know. Let's try to do one full turn, I guess. Am I in there? So we turn like the Wow, that's a bit annoying. I guess I gotta skip like that and then go like that. Let's count that as a full turn, maybe. So now I will shoot another Crossman Hollow Point 14.3 grain and see what it did. So we are now under 900, which is good, but I kind of want to get those pellets around 850. So I will do one other turn at least I guess let's call that a full turn it is a bit weird that the wrench is a bit too long for that and kind of don't like that but I will use the provided pr provided wrench so yeah you get that with it now let's see what two turns did to or around 940 FPS curve bread whatever I don't know what you call that it's not a good okay okay that might be a bit lower than I wanted I think I will just turn it up a tiny bit So if I do that, let's call that, uh, I don't know how much I did, but that's what I did. And by the way, this is kind of easy to turn and I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I don't think it will move by itself because this is not making a lot of vibrations, but just so you know. I don't know if I got the last adjustment footage. My phone just ran out of battery. Oops. But I did about a third or a quarter turn, maybe a third. I don't know. I'd call that almost a half turn, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that might be right around where I want it. What is the pressure currently? It's still a bit over 2400, I guess time to fit it up or I will shoot two 80s or one at least to know what it does but uh, do I start another string I guess let's shoot one 80s and put it in notes and delete it in the footage to show you guys right now look at that L look at that but I don't need to delete it anyway nothing fits why am I even seeing that now I'll be shooting one or two JSB 80s just to know where those are at at the peak slash you know max velocity of this tune I can take that honestly I want them to be going around 800 FPS 820 is good at the peak maybe it will be a bit lower you know when it will be higher on pressure because the valve is harder to open you know 3000 PSI fail so now I guess it's time for me to pump this rifle and do 
a 45 shot string again like my last chronograph video or something like that you know good all right so i got this back to 3000 psi or at least close to it hopefully it will be comparable to last time so let's shoot crossman holo point 14.3 grains and see what happens if i don't like what i see in the first i guess five or ten i might tune it up a little bit but let's see that's very low but the pressure is also very high so let's keep shooting okay so after five we are getting only around 16 to 18 let's say 17 to 18 foot pounds with this tune and the velocity is a bit low i want to keep them in the 800s let's check the pressure just to know that we are still a bit over 2900 which is where it starts to be more consistent uh but i think it still needs a bit more i guess i will shoot 10 and see what happens After 10, I'm still not in the 800, so I'm not lagging what I see. Let's check the pressure just to know that. By the way, last time it was just the air over 2800. This was my mistake in most of my videos yet, so <laughs> sorry about that. But now we are just under 2800, and I'm still not over 800 FPS, so I guess I will tune it up a little bit. Phone is still out of battery. So let's do that fast. That must be around quarter, third. I don't know. L let's judge by yourself, okay? I'm bad at this. Let's give it a little bit more to be around 800, maybe not. I was at. So that means that I will be already at. Uh, time to pump it back up okay so I got it close to 3000 but maybe closer to 2900 this time I'm not sure of what my little tuning up did but let's see it together at close to 3000 psi and I might start over to do the real test if it is looking decent because it was not right at around 3000 and it might affect my curve compared to last video and i want them to be comparable okay professionalism and i hope the sun won't piss us off because it barely came out in three weeks and it might not help with the chronograph i don't know i guess i will not put pictures of all of the pressure in this test because I'm not even sure of what I will do with it, but you guys get to see anyway because editing is my passion. Nope. Let's keep shooting and I, I won't even check the pressure myself because I just want to know how many shots it takes to get to a decent speed. So we got a duplicate, which is good, but let's see what the pressure looks like after 10 shots at around 29 maybe a tiny bit more psi so i'm now a tiny bit under 2800 psi i will keep shooting just to really know if i need to turn it up or not because i don't want them to go too fast too but too slow is also not great i want to find the best balance to get the more shots the more consistent shots at a good velocity i guess So we are now over 800 and we're getting pretty decent spread so let's take a look at the pressure just a bit over 2600 but i will not call that 2700 so i guess take that for what it is i will shoot i guess five more just to see what it looks like that's getting pretty fast but that might be the pellet let's check the pressure you could pretty much call that 2500 i guess i don't know if it makes sense with my last data but you know let's shoot five more to see what the peaks look like 
that's interesting. So it looks like we got a pretty decent jump, but less consistency. I don't know what to think about that. I'm now right at 2400 PSI. Some of y'all said that this was the best pressure range. Not with the last tune that I got, I don't think so, at least from my analysis, but let's see if that will be it and waste more pellets under the chronograph. I guess you guys might be right. <laughs> I'm learning, you know, and I like every comment, every tips, every subscriber. I love you guys, that's alpha of a herd because I'm holding the oh shoot microphone with the other end. Oh shoot microphone. Mm-hmm. That's a bit over 900, but... Call 911 now! Da, 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 now around 2100 PSI. Might as well shoot a few more, you know, just to make another 45 shot string after that. I guess that might be another video. Maybe. We are now just a air under 2000 PSI, which it's not too bad, we're getting some pretty decent velocities for a bunch of shots. It started to be at 898 or maybe let's start at 880. 25, sh shot number 25 was 880 and number 40 was 900 still so 40 minus 25 is Something like, uh, uh, that's only 15 shots, I guess. Let's shoot until we get to 880, just to know that will be around 30, 40 FPS spread on 20 shots, maybe. Let's see, let's see, let's waste a lot of pellets. Yep, that will be good enough for today. So this confirms that I will get at least 20 shots with less than 40 fps spread i guess put that in the corner but more like 30 i think am i am i a good estimator i don't know i guess the full 45 shot string will be for another video and this one will, will only be a tuning video hope you liked it subscribe for more and thank you to Aragon Archery Fund for this opportunity and hopefully i can show you guys how to get the best out of this rifle and hopefully this tune will work better with the pellets that I got like those 14.3 grains all point and the ones that Andy Gray just sent me you know fancy colors and stuff with acrylic I also got those 80s 15.89 that we could shoot one just for fun right now but doesn't really make sense rifle is at 8800 psi the pellet is weighing 15.89 grains. Let's see what it will do. That's pretty reasonable. That's not the peak, so those will be going fast enough even at the end and well over 800. I guess I might tune it down again in another video if I keep this rifle especially and Thanks again to Airgun Archery Fund for this opportunity. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the like, comment, support, anything. And I will see y'all in the next one. <laughs>